analyzing the Lord's prayer. Yes. The most important prayer that God's children have abandoned home. And they have left it for children to be praying. And that is the only prayer God hears. Who. Any other prayer, including your clapping of hands, is bogus to God. Because your prayer and clapping hands is an illegality. The only prayer God wants you to pray is the Lord's Prayer. That's why the disciples asked Jesus, teach us, Master, how to pray, just like John has taught his disciples. Even John's prayer for his disciples has expired. That's why the disciples of John have to come and join Jesus and learn a new prayer, which is what? The Lord's Prayer. That means this is the prayer that belongs to God and this is the prayer that God wants to hear. That's why it's called the Lord's Prayer. And then people think they have grown. They have finished school. So they have left the Lord's Prayer and created their own illegal prayer, false prayer. And people are busy praying it and nothing is happening. Yes, nothing is happening. Ask how many people in Christendom have got their prayers answered. To shock you. Anytime I talk, remember and know that I used to be there. So I know what I'm saying. The Lord's prayer was given to the disciples as they requested for. It's to help us understand the pattern of prayer that we should always present before our Father God. It means the Lord's prayer was a request by man. God didn't tell you. You went and requested. And God taught you how to pray it. He said, okay. He said, you want to pray to me, God? No problem. This is what I want to hear you pray. And you have left it. And created your own useless prayer. And added clapping of hands. Hmm. You think God is going to dance at Bajaya and you are clapping hands for him? It's sad. When people are ignorant to the highest degree, that's what happens. Jesus began by saying, Our Father who art in heaven. That means always know that your Father is in heaven. That's his place of abode. And also know the word our which begins the prayer tells us that all human beings are family of one father. Our. Jesus didn't say, when you pray, say, my father who art in heaven. He said, no. He said, our father, even when you are one person, say that our father who art in heaven. That tells you that we are all one family. So how come we are treating other people more than other people? That is the criminal life. No human being is better than another human being. Irrespectful of your color of your hair or the color of your skin or the color of your eyes. We are all one family. It is weather of the area we reside that changes our conditions. Our skin is according to the melanin that is inside, according to the weather or the sun. But we are one human being. The same blood ran into all of us. One, the same blood that ran into all of us. So God said, if you are coming to me, know that you are a family. You are all my children. So our father. This means there is no room for selfish prayers. Have you heard? So those of you who are still praying for selfish prayer, Father, I, I, you, the, my, my, month, my, my, rent, my rent has come to an end, oh Lord. It, it, look, God is not interested in that prayer. Don't waste your time. Oh. In fact, rather God will not even make provision for it. Don't talk to God about that and God will provide for it. But when you go disturbing God, what say I say? God wants to hear you tell him about things that are happening in the world. That's God's bedding. 
That's why he said, come and tell me, all of you, your problem. That is why it is our father. That means there is no selfish prayer. That is why you don't need to go praying for yourself. Then he tells us that our father is based in heaven, yes. Which means heaven is real. If not, our father will not be there. The next thing is, he, the next thing tells, he, no, the next thing he tells us to say, Hello be thy name. That is all we ought to know by Christ. That is all we are to. Uh, no, that is all we are taught to know by Christ. Is that the Father does not need any. What? Adol what? Adolation. What is that? What does it mean? Adoration. Adoration. Uh, adoration. It should be R. Yeah. Adoration. Adoration. Uh, but it's L here. Uh -huh. So correct the L. It's supposed to be R. That's why I was confused. I said, ah, what kind of word is this? Adoration. It should be L, uh, R. So if you have a pen, change it to R. By that Christ means we just need to say nothing but adoration. That is the hello be thy name. Hello be thy name. Which means you are just to salute and recognize him as father. That is all. God doesn't need us to come worshiping him and things. The Lord's prayer didn't make Christ a provision for worship. Did you see anything? Did he say worship? He said, just hallowed him. That means salute him. When you see the soldiers, when they see their commander, they don't waste time. They just salute and that's all. They don't even talk. Then they pass. And the commander knows that they have given him his respect. But look at us. We want to go and lie before God and you think God has time? Human being, commander, military commander, he hasn't got time. Is it God who has time? And they have deceived us. We have to worship God in truth and in spirit. And we don't even know the word worship there, what it stands for. The word worship has different meanings. There's the meaning of the word worship that is got to do with praising and dancing and ador adoration. Then we have another worship that means submit. They are the same word worship, which still means submit. So let us learn to know things properly. Hello be thy name, which means you are just to salute or recognize him as father. Just like saluting and saying, yes, sir, father. That's all. Because he doesn't want you to waste time. There's something he wants you to do quickly. Look at that. The third and the fourth portion of the Lord's prayer is the most important in the pattern of the prayer. That is, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. This is the important part. One, thy kingdom come. It has come already. The kingdom is here. Two, that will be done on earth will only happen when we manifest the kingdom that has been sent. And now is the time, only now we are learning the kingdom. In fact, people don't even believe the kingdom is here. There are some part of Christianity called the Jehovah's Witness. They don't believe the kingdom is here. The last time I was trying to tell them, they wouldn't listen. They that don't know, they are not ready to listen. They say, if the kingdom is here, why are things happening the way it is? I said, it is because you don't know it is here to use it to stop it. And they will not agree. Hmm. That's why I said, wait. Very soon the world will get to know. 
Because we have just started learning the kingdom. After we finish learning and we start to manifest it, people will see. Because until the kingdom is manifested, you cannot see the will of God on earth. It is not possible. The will of God is going to happen when power of God is demonstrated. This country has its will. And that will can only be enforced by the police and the army. By force. Because human beings, they won't do. They have to give some authority before they obey. So the kingdom must be the authority to bring people to submission so that God's will can be done on earth. That's the reason why the kingdom must be understood. When the kingdom is understood and we manifest it together, the whole world will obey God's will. Nobody will do anything contrary to God's will. You can't. Because there is a force that will check you, bring you to order. If you say you obey and they say, okay, then you will remain blind, will you disobey? No human being wants to be blind. Those who are blind say they want to get their side back. Hmm? You obey. Okay, stay in darkness. Come on, light off self. People don't want it. Is it their, their eyes to be light off? Yes. Yes, now. Yes, that's why you need to be a citizen. If you are not a citizen, how can you manifest the kingdom? You can't. Joseph has to be a citizen. Daniel and his friend, they were the only citizens. Joseph, he was only one man citizen in the whole world, though. That's why he can manifest God's kingdom. And the whole world has to submit to it. If you don't do what he wants, he won't give you food. So you can decide. You want to go back and die. Or obey what he says. Even Pharaoh told Egypt. They came to Pharaoh complaining. And Joseph doesn't want to give us. He said, hey, whatever he tells you to do, you must do it so that he will give you food. If not, you will die. Authority in the hands of Joseph. When it was Daniel's time, the same thing. Nebuchadnezzar said, no other God should be bowed to except the God of Daniel. So go and behave contrary and see what Daniel will do to you. In fact, the third part is very interesting as well as being very important. That is, Jesus was informing us to invite God to bring his kingdom or permit or allow his kingdom to come. You know why? Because we sought God and his kingdom from the garden. Yes. Or we rejected God and his kingdom from the garden. So this world was created by man and the devil. It's not God. Because we left the garden to go and start our own world. So God's world remained in the garden and did not grow. And God has to come and take it away. So this world is a system that is running as the devil decided it. That's why Cain killed Abel. God didn't create man to kill man. But it happened in the world of Satan. That's why God came and told Cain that no. Sin is at your door. Master over him. I say, Cain didn't listen. This goes to confirm legalities in dealing with God. No. The prayer also means we authorize and permit God to send his kingdom. This goes to confirm legalities in dealing with God. Meaning, if we don't invite God, he cannot come in. Because he handed over the place to us. So we are in, in authority now. That's what it means. Jesus, for that matter... No, I will go there. This, this, this 
this goes to confirm okay okay this is because the earth belongs to man god gave it to us and we are supposed to be in charge for that matter jesus knows that to regularize the deal with god we must permit god to send the kingdom you see because jesus cannot come and let us break the word we were given the earth so if we want god to come we have to invite him Thank God the kingdom has been brought since the past 2023 years. It is very sad that religious Christianity that involves 2.8 billion of the world population are ignorant of it and therefore can do nothing about it, even though it is prime heartbeat of God. The fourth part of the Lord's Prayer, which is the second most important part of the prayer, is thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. It will take people, a people who have heard about the kingdom concept, understood it, and have become citizens of the kingdom and manifest it. Then this can happen. This is the only way the fulfillment of that which was said by Jesus and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Matthew 24, 14. So Jesus is not about preparing people to go to heaven. That is childish play. There is work to do, and the work is the heartbeat of God. In that case, if we will stra strategize a prayer pattern for our lives as citizens, it must, centered, it must be centered only on the kingdom and the will of God to be done. That means, if you don't want to pray the Lord's Prayer as it is supposed to be, Okay, make sure in your prayer you are praying about the kingdom and are praying about the will of God to be done. That's all. You pattern your own prayer, but have this as the most important. And know that you are doing it for everybody, not you. Because selfishness is not supposed to be there. Prayer stroke imagination. Thank you that your kingdom has come, but our negligence and ignorance has made us not to know and that has hindered your work terribly on earth. Now that we have come into the knowledge of your concept, we must manifest your will on earth as, as you long desire. That's a long prayer. But it's for you to understand that we must thank God that what we ignorantly did not know, now we know. So God, help us to manifest the kingdom so that the will will happen. This is today's lessons. That's the longest of all the topics. Analyzing the Lord's Prayer. And it's very, very important that it has been well analyzed. Properly analyzed. In fact, many people all over the world will realize that, oh, so the prayer point is the most important. Yes. The most important. And that is the prayer God is waiting to hear. You might not want to pray it like the Lord's Prayer as school children pray. No problem. But make sure your personal prayer should be centered on the kingdom and the will of God. In fact, if you don't even understand the concept of the kingdom and become a citizen, you don't even qualify to pray. Because it will not work. Because you can be calling God to send the kingdom and you say, oh, my son, my daughter, I've sent it already. But you don't know it, so you cannot qualify for the will to be done. So you see? So you can be praying it here and see, because Ukraine kingdom on tears here. As I said, who tears here, now done it on my back, and son of bit me am the will, no? Ne pay your assassin. So now your man ba, oh yeah, then I'm a oh he didn't pay. Oh, he didn't cry. 
So you must become a You must become a citizen. That means God knows you. Then he can empower you to manifest his will on earth. That is the mission that we are supposed to be doing as God's children all over the world. Apart from that, it is not for you to be thinking about heaven. If you understand the concept of the kingdom, heaven is there waiting for you. You don't need to think about it. Because when you know the concept of the kingdom, the key of the heavens will be given to you. So you have your key. So you don't go wanting to go to heaven. Heaven even wants you to bring heaven here. The will of God to be done on earth means heaven on earth. Yes. When heaven is on earth already, going there doesn't become difficult. Mm. The people in the American embassy in Ghana, when they are going to America, they don't need visa. Three of us. So when we bring heaven already on earth, when we are going to heaven, we don't need a visa. We don't need any qualification. We just go. Because we are part of it already on earth. That is the purpose and the reason why you must be a citizen. The people in America and Brazil, they are all citizens of America. So when they are going to America, they don't need visa. But they have American passports. Likewise, the Ghanaians in uh, Ghana embassy in America, when they are coming to Ghana, they don't need visa. Because they are citizens already. So if you become the citizen of heaven already on earth, going to heaven is not difficult. May God give you understanding. Amen. If you have any question, you can ask so that we answer you and that we can bring it to an end today. Yes. Yes, yeah, before we forget, uh, those of you abroad listening, today we have brought this teaching of the Lord's Prayer to an end. We need your support in everything that we do. And remember that we are raising either funds or loan, if we can get from anybody, to get a vehicle to secure the gates of the land, the borders of the land. This vehicle, I said long time, if we were to be doing it in Havana, we have it. But we need a vehicle so that we can go and secure the gates of the land. And those of you too who are around, you want to give your offering and tithe, you are welcome. Go ahead. So that we'll be able to secure the land. Violence is coming. Especially next year shall be election. We have to secure the land before the violence goes out of control. God told Cain that sin is at your door. As we talk, sin is at the doors of Ghana. Terrorists are all over the Ghana borders. And we ourselves are going to create another violence when it comes to election. So let's do something about all these things. As gatekeepers, we can't sit down on consent. We must do something. That's why we need your support. But however, those of you who have sent some small, small support, we thank you and we are praying for you. Remember when you send any fans, the reference, put your name on the mobile account. We pray that God will open doors for people and bless you for your offerings and tithe so that you'll be able to support more. And those of you who want to loan us, just send us a word and we'll book your name as your amount comes so that we will write it as a loan. Yes. Because we are interested in getting the vehicle. We are not interested in say people should bring their money because it's, it's going to be difficult. And also, if you know somebody who can loan us, but we don't want interest, because we are not going to use it for business. We are going to use it for benefit to the whole country. Somebody who can loan us after that will go and pay without interest, no problem. Mm. Even if there's interest, maybe something small. Mm. Okay.